close your eyes and watch your breath. Ask yourself what kind of breathing would feel good right now, and stay with that breathing. If it doesn't feel good, you can change again. Try to be alert to what's going on, what your body needs right now. Because both the body and the mind need time to time out together. We take on so many issues with regard to the world. We use our minds, we use our bodies. What rest do they get? For the mind, people watch TV, that's not really resting it. For the body, they go to sleep. That's not the best way to rest. The best way to rest is to put the mind and the body together right here and be really alert, really mindful. Because then you're strengthening good qualities in the mind. Because these are the qualities we're going to need as we go through life. Mindfulness, alertness. In other words, remembering what needs to be done and then being alert to what's going on so you can adjust what we're actually doing. And then the quality called ardency when you try to do it really well. You wouldn't have the energy to do that, so we rest the mind in concentration. But you also need to remember, what are the good things in life? Are they material things, or are they things of, things of the mind, things of the heart? It's the things of the heart that are really more worthwhile, because things that, material things outside, they come and they go. And sometimes when they're really nice, but when they go, it's the memory of how nice they were. is not a happy memory. It can be a very sad memory, because they're gone. Whereas the goodness you do, through being virtuous, through being generous, through meditating, even when the things are in the past, still there's a goodness that comes with that that's always energizing for the mind. So we do these practices of virtue, generosity, meditation as a way of strengthening ourselves, strengthening our conviction that our actions really do make a difference. We live in a world where so many people tell us that we can't make any difference. You just have to accept, accept things the way they are. The powers that be are much too powerful. Well, fortunately, the powers that be, they don't have control over the sources of real happiness. The sources of real happiness are something that lie inside. You have to have conviction in that, that whatever is happening out in the world, you can still be generous, you can still be virtuous. In other words, you can avoid doing harm, and you can do positive good out in the world, regardless of who's in power or what's in power or what the power system is. You've got your power inside, so make the most of it. Don't fritter your time away. Any opportunity to see to be generous, whether it's with material things or with your time, your energy, your knowledge, your forgiveness, be happy to give, because it helps the mind grow. Maybe you see there are opportunities where you could make a material gain, but you'd have to break the precepts. Well, remind yourself your precepts are worth much more than that material gain. You've got something of real value inside. So no matter what the society may say about you, you know what you've got. You've got value in here. Think about the Johns out in the forest. They came from poor families up in the northeast, in the poorest part of Thailand, the part that everybody else looks down on. And yet they were able to develop themselves in ways that nobody else could or nobody else did, let's put it that way, to the point where they became the Johns that we bow down to every day now. So what, mat doesn't, what matters is not what the world sees in you, it's what you see in yourself, the potentials you see in yourself, and the fact that you actually act on them. And we meditate to strengthen the mind so that it's clear about what needs to be done. It can step back from its greed, aversion, and delusion. And it also gets the strength. And when you see something should be done, you have the strength to do it. So this way you develop a refuge inside. We take refuge in the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. But what does that mean? It means taking their qualities and developing them inside as strengths inside us. And we, then we take strength in those, ref in those qualities. Otherwise it's just words. You want the actual quality of the Buddha, the quality of the Dharma, the quality of the Sangha to be there in your mind, to strengthen the mind. And that's where your source of power is, your source of strength, your source of security. It's the goodness you develop inside, which is something we can all do. It's a shame that not, not more people do this. But you can't worry about other people. You've got to make sure that you've got your goodness to, as developed as you can. Because that's what gives real value to your life. A sense of well-being, a sense of happiness, a sense of your own worth as a person comes from the goodness that you do.